Tensions are also rising in the north with a potential second front in the war along Israel's border with Lebanon. CBS's Imtiaz Tayeb is following the action where Israeli troops exchanged fire today with Hezbollah forces. Israel was thrown into a fresh state of terror after a military alert warning of a, quote, aerial infiltration from Lebanon. An army spokesman later said it was an error. But on its northern border with Lebanon, Israel is taking no chances. CBS News has witnessed a mass mobilization of tanks and soldiers following four consecutive days of incoming rocket fire from southern Lebanon. Allahu Akbar. Dozens of northern Israeli communities have already been evacuated. The few who remain, mainly women and children, spend most of their time in underground bunkers because of the near constant air raid sirens. And tensions here are running high. A fight breaks out over donated coloring supplies for the children, as people who've had no choice but to live in such close quarters find themselves at breaking point, including mother of three, Oshrit Ochana. Why is everyone so upset? The stress is making everybody crazy. The fear now is the kind of violence Hamas inflicted on Israel's south will come here to the north as armed Palestinian groups and the Iranian-backed Shia group Hezbollah continue to fire rockets into Israeli territory. Hezbollah is Lebanon's most powerful armed group and is committed to Israel's destruction, with its vast arsenal of rockets and thousands of fighters who gain combat experience in Syria's civil war. Israel recognizes it as a formidable fighting force. Now, three Hezbollah fighters and three Israeli soldiers have been killed in the past few days alone, risking a second front opening up here in the north and a conflict that has the potential to engulf this entire region. Nora. MTS Tayab, thank you.